We're back. We're back. On a boat. On a boat. A boat. A boat. On a boat. On a boat. That's what I never forget. Um, um, so, yeah, you're rowing your way. Um, yes, yes, on the small occasion. occasion. Yeah. Um, and we are rowing slowly north on the placid, sunlit, glary sea. I think we see, like, some, uh, like a school, a, a small school of fish, like, um, of, like, bait fish, like, jumping out of the water alongside the boat, um, like, skipping alongside, um, as you, as you row your way north towards the, like, the, the, like, yeah, silvery spires of uh, of stone that that peek their way out of the like the 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 sea here seems to shift between deep turquoise and then almost like sand when it, with the with the sun's glare on it, um, and it makes almost no. Um, Almost no sound as it uh, as you like like other than just like the, the lapping of your oars as you make your way towards the uh, towards the like towards the stones. Um, how do you want to position yourself? Um, um, I mean, we're gonna try and get right up to the stones. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then yeah, I wouldn't do that. That's a question for everyone else. I don't know. That's a question. It's a question. Um, I guess we should try the area, like, a little bit further to see than the stones. If there's a wreck underwater, we might be able to see it. True, true. So, sorry, can you say that again? Uh, the area just a little bit further out to see than the yeah. stones, because mm -hmm. we're trying to see if there's anything under the water that's visible. Yeah. So, so, in which case, um, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know if I want to make you roll uh, under pressure, or if I want to make you roll reading a situation. I think so. I think what happens is no. There's, there's not. A, there's neither of these are appropriate right now. So then I just say what happens. That's how Powered by the Apocalypse yeah. works. So yeah, you row up, um, and you're a little bit you're a little bit out, and you, um, and you like try and like center the boat, and the boat doesn't shift from where it is, because the um, uh, because the um, the like the tide isn't taking it anywhere, and so you just kind of like uh, you're bobbing slightly on the on, on the gentle waves. And like peering around down below, and I think, um, I think one of you, it's got to, it's got to be Charles, right? Charles, you see what you're sure is some lace just like glide past under the boat. Can I reach over and grab it? Sure. Yeah. Shh. Uh, I think that's, yeah, roll, yeah. roll, pra, plus, brawn or plus, let me, let me, let me just check the specific wording. No, so, so, you, yeah, you reach down and you grab, uh, and you grab at some, and your hand comes up with just, like, um, lots of bits of string just hanging off of your hand, like white string. White string? Mm -hmm. Was the lace that I saw white, white or white or black? lace? Yep. White lace. Can I run it between my fingers and, and just see the texture of it? It's quite fine. Uh, it's probably it's probably cotton, which is like it's not wool or linen. So it's. Um, It's good quality. All right, I, I, I show it to the other two. And I say, I'm, I was sure I saw lace in the water, and, and I pulled it up, and, and it's this. This seems out of place. This lace. 
Which way was it drifting? Wait, wait, oh, gosh, gosh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I what? have a minute for this. I have a, I have a waiting for this whole time. time. Oh my <laughs> I'm so I'm excited. So excited. <laughs> this is something so interesting, interesting from the sea. From the sea. I, 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 I snatched it out of the sauce. Yep. I have a minute for this. Minute. When you when handle, for example, or example, something interesting, something from, the scene, from the scene, roll plus roll plus beyond, and then I can ask questions, can ask about. questions about. Right. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna attempt that. that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. 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 The yes, thirteen. Wow. wow. Okay. Okay. Three questions. Three questions. Three questions, friend. Um, um, I would like, I to, would know like to know who handled, who handled this last before, last before me, and I'd really I'd love really it if it wasn't Charles. Wasn't Charles. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, but you know. Oh, no, the person oh, who no. handled this. Okay. okay. The person who handled this was putting it on. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh, how, like, like, what? How does this work? Does this work? Does this work? Does like, yeah, what does it look yeah. like for you? Um, um, I think I, I, I think it's like my other bits. Like, I think, like think as I think, as I think, things, things, um, um, and, 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 like, and like, yeah, it, yeah, if I take something out of the scene and sort of, like, like, like handle it, handle it uh, I uh, get I kind of, like, of like memories, memories of it as though, as though I was someone else handling it. Handling it. So like I, so I kind of like, like I uh, have uh, visions, visions where I'm where in, I'm in place, place for the other the other interactive mm. rest. Mm. So maybe in the so vision, like, like I am the I person. person. I'm seeing it from like, like the eyes of the person, person that, is, that is like putting it on. Yep, you're yep. crying. Uh, you're uh, putting it on. Um, uh, no, you're not crying. You're scared. You're worried. You're eager. Um, and yeah, you, um, and like, yeah, so, like something scary, but like exciting is coming. And that's why you're putting this on. Um, you hear, uh, I think you, you hear the voice of Christopher Potts, um, from another room saying, uh, saying, you hear the voice of Christopher Potts. From another room another saying room Ariadne, Ariadne what are you doing and she's like I'm uh, and you say uh, and you say I'm just I, it I'm just I thought I'd get dressed up nice for the evening that's the vision say it again okay so, so, so I am Yep. And I asked the person who handled this before me. And the answer the was answer that I, 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 am, I had the vision where I was a person, person, person who was handling the past. past. And I was, and I was uh, a woman who was putting on a dress, on a dress that was made that of this, this lace, lace. And I heard, and I heard in the vision, the vision from another from room, another room the, voice the voice of Christopher Potts, who called, called me, me the woman that, woman that I was... That I was being uh, Ariadne, Ariadne and asked and what I was doing, doing and I said and I, I said just thought I would get, 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 get dressed up nicely and I also and know, I also that, know that, that I, Ariadne, Ariadne uh, was, uh, very, was very excited and scared for something that was coming that was going to happen. And that you were lying. And that I was lying about saying like, oh, I'm just going to get dressed up. So whoever this was, knew Christopher Potts, and by the sounds like the sounds of being a, like, Relative, relative of Christopher Potts. Christopher Potts. Or might have been marrying them. Yes. Or, uh, Potts. Potts. Do you, who, did anyone know Christopher Potts before we came here? I'm trying to remember. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think I, I, don't think I, I, I don't have known him. him. I certainly have, I certainly have known him. him. Did Charles? Wait, was I... I Wait, 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 w
She did. She oh, did. you've got a good memory. She didn't, she didn't mention it. I don't think she mentioned it by name. I don't think she mentioned it by name. Okay. So we just, we just had a wife. I think, 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 I for Tristan, but actually for Ash. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When you looked at your hands in the vision, mm -hmm. how did they look? How old did they look? Did they look older and wrinkled, or did they look young? Young. 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 Oh. They're like thirty-ish, like early thirties. I think I saw like 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 the rating the rating vision, 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 like in like the same way, same way as. as um, um, Kind of like when, like when like, like sleep talks. Sleep talks. So I'm like explaining so it as it's happening. I'm saying, like, saying you know, like, right. I'm holding the I do. and I'm kind of talking kind of to myself, myself and saying, like, saying, like, I'm standing in a room, room. and I'm putting on these clothes, clothes. Um, um, do you have two more questions? I do, I do. Oh, oh gosh. gosh. Um, um, okay. 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 Um, um, um What's, what, what, what words, words have been said near this place and what's wrong with Heartbreak, despair, yeah. hope being lost. Um, and, uh, and then a laughter and crying. Um, that was, a, but like a laughter and crying that was being choked out of, like, it was being, like, whipped out of the person's mouth or something. Like, it, like they were having trouble making it because of maybe a strong wind or something like that. Is that your question from the your third question? Oh, sorry, I sorry, I put my third questions together. Then it was uh, what some emotions are related to the nearest and what Oh right, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. Um, the tide is high. The water is. So, so what is that fuzzy? I mean, I assumed it was. Um, I assumed it was planes or something. Sorry. Yes. Is it plain? Oh. oh, okay. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, there's there's um, I think yeah, the tide is high. There is, yeah, the water is like turquoise. Um, there are reflections on the on the surface of the sun. You're gonna have to roll to be able to see anything down there. You're gonna have to get in the water. I think you like getting in the water would help. Right. Sorry. Yes, Sorry. Charles. Yes, Charles. Maybe, maybe we could um, uh, maneuver ourselves a little bit closer. Can we use what we know about the the tides and the eddies in this area to maybe go a bit closer to the source of where this lace is coming from? So where the so where the, where the penguins are on the rocks? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah are we not there? You're a little bit out from there because it was. Oh yeah, dangerous. that's right. Okay. The the, the 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 rocks are pointing out of the um out of, like, it's uh it's like, you hear the the sound of the gulls above you, just like like keening, and you see in front yeah. of you the the um the the rocks like piercing the water like gravestones and like some uh, some giant's teeth. Ugh. That sounds yeah. very, very ominous, but um. Yeah, I'm yeah I mean, I don't... Jump mm. in. Uh, you can tie the rope around me, I can jump in and see if I can see anything. I mean, I mean I as sailors, which do we feel is more safe? Like, I feel like we would know this kind of stuff. Is it, I mean, is it's it safer? Safe, it's safer to, like, have someone swim on a rope than it is to, okay. Okay. to like, put uh, the, the whole boat near rocks. Okay. okay. Yep. Although, yep. that said, you're at the time where the rocks are the least dangerous. 
you, up boy. to you, Blythe. We can do one then the other. I mean, it's not going to take me. I'm not going to spend hours down there, I hope. <laughs> and I strip off my coat and I put my rifle down because I brought it out of like the because of the neurosis I've been having since this whole thing started. Um, take my boots off, uh, etc. Tie the rope around me and dive in. Cool. Roll. You don't worry. It's good. Not today. <laughs> yeah. Roll to resist. Uh, roll, roll to act under pressure. Yep. I'm going to hold the other end of the rope. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll help assume you. Assume both of you were. Yeah. yeah. I think we both got it. Yep. Eight. Eight. Um, could potentially be a ten if no one helps me, but it I don't could know. be a ten if it, with help. Yeah. Yeah. Do that? yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is this? Is this balance? Mm -hmm. Oh no, sorry. Oh no, sorry. It's, it's plus it's, it's bond. Help. Plus one. Okay. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll help. Uh, roll two d six plus one. Ugh. Dang it! No, I'm not helpful. Do you want to try helping, Charles? Yes. Oh, no. No. Why are we so, <laughs> are we so useless? I think, I think we can't yeah, see whatever you're doing because the water is yeah, so glaring. Yeah. yeah, just like, we'll just hold this rope. <laughs> mm -hmm. while, you're yes, so, we'll yeah, while you're holding the rope, the wind picks up. It is a... Is it westerly if it's blowing toward the west from the east? Or is it that an easterly? I don't know. I don't know. Mm. East to west, no, the wind is blowing. The way, uh, okay. That way lies the rocks, um, and you are drifting on the just on the wind, slowly towards them. Right. Okay. Um, but also, you probably don't want to put the oars in the water right now because uh, Blythe, it, like, it's down, it's down, there. down there. Yeah. Yep. yep. Blythe. Okay. You swim down yep. through the uh, through the turquoise water. Rays of sunlight dappling down into the uh, into the water alongside you. Silver fish um, come and investigate what this strange entry into their domain is. Um, and then, as you uh, as you swim uh, uh, swim down as hard as you can, you spot a crow's nest, and then uh, and then like uh, a mast, the tatters of a long worn sail. Um, and then a deck, all lit, uh, like Comorebi in a forest. Did I use that word correctly, Emily? No. It's all lit, dappled by the sunlight, making its way down through each... I mean, it's, it's the right word, it's just, it's just an interesting grammar, that's all. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah, dappled, dappled sunlight I mean, comes down through the waves, in, um, yeah. and like... Uh, and illuminates it and hanging and and like you can see it in amongst all of these like sharp rocks um that are that are down there this would still be slightly underwater at low tide um what would probably not be underwater at low tide is that white lacy something on the rocks nearby um Right. At which point you feel this desire in your chest to laugh or sob. Oh no, you're under the water, don't do that! Don't do that under the water! I swim upwards as fast as I possibly can. Might want to act under pressure again. Yeah. Seven. You swim up, laughing and sobbing as you go. Um, your uh, you your lungs filling with seawater as you try desperately to grasp at the uh, grasp at the surface. You feel your hand breach the uh, uh, breach the like lapping calm of the still water, and uh, and feel like the uh, feel like the sun on the back of your hand as everything goes dark 
We grab I assume, her. I assume yeah. we, yeah, I was gonna say, I assume we see her and we can grab her. Yep, you yep. pull her up. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, uh, we apply, apply sailor, first sailor first aid, <laughs> which we know very well because we are sailors. Cool, roll for it. <laughs> okay, what okay, are we, what are we rolling? Act under, act under pressure? I think it's act under pressure. Okay. Okay, sure. Uh, I'm happy to do that. If you want. To. Uh, yes! Yes! More fire! More fire. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, so I am a sailor. I have been a sailor since forever. Blythe, I know how to do this. Blythe coughs up gallons of water. Blythe, Blythe, you're right. Blythe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm just coughing, uh, spluttering, and then I kind of like. I'm a little bit traumatized, so I don't really say anything. I just curl up in a little ball. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Like a medium-sized ball. A medium-sized ball. Because you're not a small person. No. Um, um, do, we do we have anything, anything like... like uh, do, uh, do either of us have, like, like, like a... Um, um, what's the kind of alcohol that you're supposed to give, to give people that, to fortify like, to fortify their spirit? Their spirit? If Charles Jesus. doesn't have a flask of brandy on him, I will be oh, yeah. gonna say. a wet hat. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, Charles, I'm like Charles, Charles, Charles. What type of brandy, brandy would you like? <laughs> Any type. <laughs> Something nice. <laughs> Something encouraging. <nice. laughs> <laughs> and he's just got, like, <laughs> flasks of brandy. <laughs> like, he's got, like, eight <laughs> flasks of brandy down his front in, like, holsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is my lot to give everybody smashed. Um, all right, I'll take over some, some brandy and uh, give Blythe a, a bit of a sniff. Uh, yeah, I grabbed the brandy uh, without invitation. Not too much? Yeah, no. I mean, yes. I drink an excessive amount. <laughs> and I prop myself up on the side of the boat. What did you see? What's down there? Oh, it's kind of blurry in my head. There's a lot of lace, like a ship of lace. No, there's <laughs> lace floating in the rocks. And then down the bottom, there's a sail, a white sail. But it's too far down. It's too far down. We need to come back in low tide. Why don't we just anchor here and wait? I don't want to be here at night. Mm -hmm. Low tide mm -hmm. will be, um, will be like, I think dusk? In about six hours? About six hours, is my understanding. How long did it take us to get here from the rare occasion? Mm, 40 minutes. There was a star wipe. We don't know. Oh yeah, there was a star wipe. Good point. <laughs> 40 minutes. So, uh, okay, so enough time that we could like we could go back. Mm -hmm. We could come back again at dusk if we wanted to. Because like we'll all get sunstroke sitting in a boat for the rest of the day. And then we will not. It will not be safe for swimming. Oh, sounds like we're I would like alive. to go and come back because I'm drenched. Yeah. Yeah. So we exactly. so we clock wipe <laughs> to, <laughs> to dust, mm -hmm. and we see you all like rowing again, um, mm -hmm. but this time in the like orangey pink peach sort of uh, mm -hmm. light of the of the sunset. This time, this time we make sure we make have, sure we have an, anchor an anchor with us because mm -hmm. I think we didn't like maybe we didn't have that before mm -hmm. so that we don't, so that we don't yep. the boat doesn't drift. Mm -hmm. um, and oh, is there anything else that we could bring to help us with diving? Who knows mm -hmm. about sailing stuff in the ages ago? The only thing that we would probably need is, is a bit of light in case it gets mm -hmm. dark. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know how we would get some light down there that would be. Mm. Yeah, underwater. yeah, we're going to be light underwater. underwater. I think, we I think we're just are gonna only going to have a very short bracket because if it's dusk, there'll be a bit of light, but we'd have to just do it quickly before it gets dark. As you row Who's towards, as you row towards the stones, you see um, a 
uh, a clustering of penguins across uh, across some rocks that were not above water before. Um, amongst them, you see traces of white. Just above, like lace? Just above the waterline. Oh, oh like, like sails? No, not like sails, like lace. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. And I'm All very right. adamant, like, we don't need to go that close to the rocks. I saw it where we were before, the ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Alright. Alright. So... so um, um... Yeah, who's gonna, yeah, who's gonna go? Um, um, I'm happy to go, or, 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 Blythe, or Blythe, if you want to try again, or... What stat, what stat is it? Is it? You don't want to do it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, 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 balance. it's balance, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Alright, I mean, I've got... The, like, I've got... The highest possible in balance. Mm -hmm. Look, I mean, Blythe narratively does not want to go in there again. Yeah. And is like, I think Blythe says, like, Tristan, I think you're the only, you, you should, I mean, if you feel, I'm asking permission for the first time ever. I'm just about to give you an order and I'm ask for permission. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. Yeah. You, think yeah. you, can, you should go because I don't think this is something outside our understanding down there I'll do it, I'll do it. Tristan that's all right I think I, I, think, I, I think I respond to you like, like, in the same, like in the same way that I would normally like respond if you were to give me an order but I do it like like with a smile I'm just like yes of course person <laughs> Tristan would you permit me to say a short prayer of course of course I would appreciate it else I um, I put my hand on your shoulder and I say, "Dear Lord, please guide our our fellow sailor as he delves beneath the waves to try and solve this mystery. We know there is pain, we know there is suffering here, but please do not use it as a weapon against us. Please bring this sailor home." I love how meta that is. It's like, please, GM, do not use the pain and suffering against us as a twist. Any games with like people who have who like believe in a like a, a mono deity more often because it's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Monotheism. Uh, Tristan. Yep. Yep. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Is there? Is there... So there's no, so there's no way I can set myself, set myself up mechanically for this. For this. Um, I just have, have to hope I roll well and then get, then get help. Yep. You're attaching the, the rope? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll attach the rope. rope. Um, One tug I'll... if you okay. want okay. us to pull you up. Two tugs if you are in trouble and you need us to pull you up really fast. All right. All right. Got it. Got it. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Tristan Sello dives into the water as the uh, as the sun first touches the horizon. His beard is all like his beard, <laughs> pretends, to, uh, his beard pretends to be Davy Jones from the Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He swims down in uh, like and like he and like now that he's in the water, he sees that the like the top of the mast is dangerously close to the bottom of the uh, of the of the dinghy. Um, mm. and he's like swims down past the um past the like crows the crow's nest it's like all the masters are like bent and cracked um and past the um past the the sail and down to the deck and yeah this is this is clearly um it like it's a it's a merchant vessel um but it's a very very fast one like it's 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 it's, it's um, it's small, it's not large, and it's designed to be quick as heck. Um, and yeah, you you, um, you swim down and you can see that it doesn't, it has like a bit of a cabin, but mostly it's like top deck and then, um, and then below deck. Um, and yeah, you can, uh, and like in amongst, and when you peer in, into the, um, in, in um, um, like through the grate down into the, you see just I think you just see a lot of white, but it's not like the lace. It's different. It's lustrous. There's many small um like beads or something. Like pearls? Just so many pearls. Wow. Alright. Alright. Uh how 
like, is this a situation where I could reach my arm in and grab some, or like... With a ten you can. Okay. I like, just like, grab two handfuls. And then... Yep. And then I tug the rope once. Cool. So, before the rope, you feel the rope tug, before that, um, up above, just before that, the, um, the lace rises from the stones. Oh no, you're gone, meet a ghost! Red, ah. in the, it, it, like, red, lit red by the sunset light. Oh. Um, the penguins make weird chattering noises and scatter into the water. Omens of death. Omens of death. <laughs> and then you feel a tug on the uh, feel a tug on the rope, as the lace drifts slowly across. It's not, like it barely looks like a like it could have ever been a person. Like you can see like the vague shape of a dress or something, but mostly it's just lace drifting an inch above the water towards your boat. Uh, we pull. I pull on the rope yeah. and I yell I, I, I yell out to the lace like <laughs> Are you oh, lace? Stop something. being creepy. You stop it. it. Go back, back into the water. Your rifle is, uh, is, on, is on the floor yeah. of the boat. Yeah, no, I I don't think that, like, I think even Blythe doesn't think that shooting something in corporal with a rifle would be particularly effective, like, um, I think I'm just, I just yell at it, wait, stop! Because <laughs> what are you going to yell at a lace ghost? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So you, you so do you all want to roll to pull up uh, Tristan real quick? Alright. Mm. Because yelling rolling? no stop does not stop late. <laughs> no, I, I'm aware of that. Uh, can I try seize by force to grab a hold of Tristan? Oh, 100%. Ooh. I'm sorry, act, and act with force. That's the one I'm looking for. Yes. I feel that is appropriate in this situation because there is actively a threatening presence 100%. here as well. Yep. You're, you're seizing Tristan before you get seized. Hard. Oh, nice. yeah. 12. Nice. nice. Yeah. Finally, Finally, when it matters, yeah. <laughs> we're... You grab Tristan by the beard and pull him onto the boat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Yes. I will take a definite hold of it. My beard. My beard. Um, being Tristan's beard. Uh, <laughs> and hands it. Uh, by Tristan's I would like to beard. <laughs> uh, I would I like to suffer a little harm and impress, dismay, or frighten my enemy. Mm. How are yeah. you impressing, dismaying, or frightening? Is that with your no stop? Definitely. No. No, not at all. It's like... I think it's probably... I think it's probably going to be an impress, because, uh, like, this is just my idea, but Actually, I think I probably just, like... Yep. I, 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 feel like, I feel like your enemy here is the water holding Trist, uh, Tristan down, so... Um, I mean, I look, gonna I was going to say, if this ghost, like, has any kind of conscience, a uh, consciousness, um, my suggestion would be that ignoring it in, and just, yeah, like, true, doing sad. the thing that you were going to do is, like, demonstrating, you know, actually, you're not that big a deal. I'm just going to keep helping my friend. Thank you very much. Yeah, it, so, that's actually what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah right, right. Yes. So, yeah, it, 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 it drifts, like, it, I think it, like, drifts lazily. Okay. Yeah. 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 I so we get I cough a little, cough a little bit, bit uh, but I I'm I'm, I'm all right. Um, I sort, um, sort of rub my beard. my beard, <laughs> like ow, ow. Uh, <laughs> and I like <laughs> drop two handfuls of pearls into the the bottom of the dinghy. Wow. Wow. It's full. It's full of them. Wow. Also, what the also, hell is what that? The hell is that? <laughs> 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 I'm like, uh... So, it starts <laughs> making the sound. Mm -hmm. 
What does? Okay. The lace. The lace, the, the lace ghost starts, starts making the laughing, the laughing, crying sound, I think is what she's saying. Yep. yep. I was going to ask you what the hell is that? Well, I well, would say, say it's what's left of Ariadne. Ariadne. Not, very much. Not very much. Can I... So, what, what's the lace doing now? It's so drifting so lazily basic... towards you laughing yeah. and crying. Yeah. So, 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 so the lace, imagine, imagine, imagine a ghost, but, but all, of the, all of the body of the ghost is invisible. So it's just, so it's like, just the like the dress, kind of. The water now is like glass. It is without waves at all. There is no wind happening, and the sun is dipping into the sea further. The lace is lit. Uh, the lace and everything here is. Can I use one of my special moves? Yeah. yeah. Ooh. It's called righteous censor. Ooh. When you use your face publicly to discipline or cast out another, or to cause Ooh. them. To What does like this look like? So this involves me <laughs> somewhat maybe foolishly standing up in the boat <laughs> and it wobbles and saying to the spirits that besiege us I command you to stop and go back to your back to your watery grave better roll it. This one, this one concerns me. Oh, no, wait, no, it's only on a seven to nine. Okay, oh. don't roll a seven to nine. I can roll a five. Oh, God, that's even worse. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, they can't really help me, can they? And they'd have to roll really well. So they'd have to, they'd have to uh, get a pass on a help. Mm. I'm also not sure narratively how. Yeah, yeah I don't think we can narratively help you because this is just a, a you thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So okay. the so the water, uh, like, doesn't it doesn't ripple like waves of water. It ripples like almost. Like sand on a speaker. Yeah, like a. It just goes. And you and from that sound you hear a whisper. Proud man, rich man, powerful man, you cannot control me. You, all the power and riches and money in the world cannot take from me my own agency um she's and i think point. i think it's she's got me <laughs> says Blythe. i think at that <laughs> point like... she like the lace like ru starts like rushing towards uh towards charles and like like at a high speed um 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 get out of here um, I have, I have, this is like you've got like a, like a single action in D and D, right? Like, I have I have a question which may or may not be related. Mm -hmm. I think, although I can't quite tell for sure explicitly, but I'm thinking that the secret keeper move, i.e. Uh, you're a collector of secrets, you seek to know who others truly are, when you learn a secret of another, write it down and who it belongs to, uh, at any time you may spend the secrets you've learned of another one-to-one -one to do a bunch of stuff. I'm assuming that means you would have to spend a secret of theirs to affect them. It's not like a currency where I could just spend any secret to affect someone else. No, I think it has to be one of theirs, but I think you know secrets about Ariadne. I was going yeah. to say, do I, can I, yeah, does that count? I think that counts, you just haven't written them down. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah. Um, okay, okay. well in that case, I, I, I might try to use this move. Mm -hmm. um, it says I can, at any time, I may spend the secrets I've learned of another one-to-one -to, -one to bolster or deride their reputation in public, reveal one who wishes to destroy them, find a person or thing that is precious to them, Force their hand at a crucial moment. Seems important. Um, 
uh, or ask them questions as if you had succeeded at reading another's thoughts with the Templars. Ooh, that one sounds pretty good. What do we think? What do we think? Should I try to force force their hand at a crucial moment, which would buy us time but wouldn't solve the cursing, ghosting problem? Should I find a personal thing that is precious to them, or should I do the questions one? The personal thing that's precious to them is likely the pearls. Um, I don't, I don't think really cool. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah, the questions one. I reckon it's got to be the questions or the personal thing because forcing their hand is just less interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It is. It exists. It is. And it kind of doesn't solve the problem. What's that? What's that? The longer to the. It doesn't solve the the, yeah. the story. Yeah. Arc. Exactly. It get us closer to. Exactly. exactly. Actually, being out of advance. Yeah. 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 And also, she, and also, she just made such a great speech about agency. I don't want to force her to do anything. Um. um. <laughs> okay. uh, uh, all right. All right. Well then, let's, well, then, go, let's with... go with. Uh, uh, let's go with read another's thoughts, thoughts questions. Go for it. Take three. Spend. Spend a, spend a, a, secret. a secret. The secret, the secret being, being uh, that she she lied to her, to her husband. husband. I'm guessing here. She lied to her husband, uh, and she, and she was going to uh, go and meet a ship, or like escape in it, or something. Um, okay. okay. What does this, what does this character need most? Uh, how, how can I get this character to rest peacefully and not, and not curse, people people curse people or haunt them anymore? <laughs> um, what does this character wish I'd do? Right. There you go. Tell me, Tell me all, all the things. things. What does, like? Like, what does it look like you spending the the the, the thing? I think I, I yeah I like I I like stand up stand up next to Charles, next to Charles. Like, like Charles has stood, stood up in the boat, boat right and like said, said, said this thing, thing and I sort of like, like stand up but like like slowly, slowly and, and sort of like hold on to Charles a little bit uh sort of stand next to him uh kind of like with like my arms sort of a little bit protectively like on on his shoulders uh and sort of say like ariadne ariadne like uh it's all right you know um we we know you want to be free and i'm just sort of trying to like get the creatures like like get it to kind of pay attention to me long enough that i can assess like yeah how it behaves or whatever yeah so this like so yeah this this thing um turns you see like a, a like a rib cage and like collarbones and like an arm uh, like in the like lace dress like turn towards you it's all like the lace is like pure white still for some reason as if it's like mm. been bleached by the sun or something but the but the like the like old flesh and bones underneath are like a deep gray and it uh, um and it like turns towards you um and you you kind of um, you kind of uh, look towards it, and 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 what question do you ask? Uh, like just just like to try and get like to try and get a read. Like what do you say to it to get the answer okay, to those like questions? In, in, yeah. um, I think I say. sleeps like the sea but you must give up this burden it will not help you what can we do to help you rest um yeah cool um so 
the water again like fizzes like all of these like little droplets like rising up and falling down um and the, the, this there's like a whisper and she's like uh she's like um uh she's like I cannot leave because my uh, because my husband is still uh, um, my husband still rules this place like some minor lord. She, uh, uh, and I think with that you understand that like if he were dead, yeah, or if you took her away, like this thing, the thing. Mm-hmm. Took, the, took the remains of her body. Back to her home in India. India. Oh, wow. I mean, that is a thing. Of I wonder what would happen if we if we brought Christopher out here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Um. So she's asked you to. So the, yeah. So she she mm. wants you to kill Christopher. But if you, but there is the other way of doing things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think she it, it, it continues on, yeah, right? Like, it, it continues on with like, um, uh, I yeah, like I, I spent a lifetime trapped here, a prisoner. Not even uh, my ga- my cage barely gilded, and uh, and then when I went to uh, when I went to leave, there was no uh, there was no freedom left for me, and yet my uh, and yet my uh, my ill-born sons who took so much of my life from me traveled to all the corners of this land. If you're and I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't say your husband. I say if Potts were no longer in his kingly position, and we took you with us, how would that be? Like I'm specifically saying, like if he just wasn't in charge as opposed to dead. Um, like specifically, he has to be there. Um, he has to not be able to travel. Is the main point? Like he has to not be able to leave if he wants to. So the point is, he she can leave but doesn't. She is. She she's upset that he can leave but doesn't, and she wanted to leave but he wouldn't let her. So possibly in prison would fit the bill. True, it would. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna say to her. Ariadne, has Potts, and like, as I'm saying this, the two, of, like, the other two can see, like, the, like, joy, like, bubbling, <laughs> like, has Potts ever done something against the law? The water fizzes, and just so many voices tell you or like just there are secrets pouring out of the ocean. Yes. Oh, God. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um in a thousand voices, all of them Ariadne's. Mm-hmm. Cool. Or should I just write down like a bunch of secrets about like Christopher <laughs> Potts' illegal doings? I feel like yeah. Cool. I mean Christopher Potts know. is a rotten Rotten He's a man. rotten dude. I knew it. I knew it. Like, as I'm listening to them, I'm just like grinning, and I'm saying to myself, "I knew it. I knew it." And it's great because she's like, she she tells you every instance of his urinating in public, or like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, this is so good. I'm so pleased. This is this is yes. the best thing. <laughs> um, a shower think, of I think, secrets. I think yeah. about a guy I hate too. I think you. I think. So I think Christopher killed the last doctor. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Like, there's a question there of whether it was murder or manslaughter. Like, it's. Mm-hmm. Um. But. Yep. All right. 
I think I turn to the others and I'm like, um, do we want to take our friend here back to her home? How do we take her back? I guess she lies down in the boat and we put her in a nice big box. No boxes. Send the box. Yeah. Okay. We don't put her Great. in the box. <laughs> my ashes across. Uh, uh, what's the name of the room? The, my ashes in the Ganges. Okay. Urn. Yep. In an urn, I guess, yeah. No, no urn in the Ganges. Uh, okay. Oh, so no, eventually in the Ganges. The... Temporarily in an urn, just as a traveling. Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we somehow we. we <laughs> I guess what I'm asking is like, do we want to just take her back to like, do we just put the body in the boat? Yeah. Is that? Like, you can't put her in a box or anything until you like yeah. burn her in India. What do you reckon, team? Do we do that now? Okay. Yep. Okay. Gently. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's like there's this weird thing where like she glides over to you. Can you actually can you roll me a manipulated person to make sure that she's okay with this plan? Sure. Cause she I, could just like I mean she suggested the plan. Yeah, but... true. Reference. <laughs> who's 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 rolling this one? Um Is it Charles? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, if if Charles can. You can help. Seven. So, okay. do the other two want to help? Yep. Sure. Give it a shot. I mean, we won't. Yeah. If you yeah. if you get a ten, Emily. Okay. There'll be. It'll still be seven and nine, actually. Yeah, that wouldn't miss, that wouldn't help. Okay. That's right. So yeah, she. Um. So I think the thing is that then she she requires both, right? Like, both. The husband has to be taken down, and she has to be taken yep, home. Yeah, well, that's exactly what the plan is. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just like there was the option there to make it simpler. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, yep. All right. So yeah, she glides over and like holds out an arm up to the elbow to like Der uh, mm -hmm. to like uh, Charles in a like mm -hmm. you may take my hand. <laughs> oh my god! All right. I I reach down and I gently take her hand. Take her elbow, <laughs> and yeah, yeah. Um, she allows you to like take her hand and gently lie her down in the bottom. Her like like she's cold as seawater. Um, yeah, the, she she's she all oh, she's like a third of a skeleton. She is a rib cage, uh, most of a spine, um, like shoulders an arm. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Those penguins didn't f around. Yeah. They're serious business. Gotta watch out. So yeah, you lay you, said... you lay the bones and lace in the bottom of the uh, of the boat amongst the pearls. Sit it's as far as away as possible they... on the boat. Yeah. They sit I'm... on the side of the boat if necessary. I'm not really keen to get too close to her either. Yeah. Yeah. I did just help. Me. Like this lady tried to kill me several times. Mm. Is what I think. Yeah. Is my yeah. opinion of events. Not only that, she was laughing simultaneously while she did it. Like, I get it, she's got a sad past and all, but I have a life <laughs> right now. I'm alive. I'm living. I'd like to stay that way. <laughs> Curses, still a dick move. Yeah. Yes. Cool. All right. So, yeah, you row, so, back to the, you row back to the occasion. Uh, Samson is on okay. deck, like, waiting for you. He's like, he's like, he's like, look, little Samson, mum's back. I think we've like, uh, got like a piece of um, like tarp or sailcloth or something. That was kind of, that would count as covering her. Oh, okay. Can't which do it. is which is what she doesn't want. Okay, I guess we've got to explain it to Avery. <laughs> She's awfully picky about getting also, saved from a watery grave. Avery is like superstitious in the same yep. way that I am. Yeah. So. I think I, yeah, I think I just, like, when we I mean, get back... I mean, like, the thing is, you could cover her with a tarp, but you would be breaking the Concorde. The, the, yeah, we don't, we don't want to do that. The, the, 
not Concord. Uh, Con- Con- Accord. No, yeah. And like, like, and like, I think Tristan knows better than to break an accord with a ghost. <laughs> yeah, so I make a big fuss of like, we can't cover her, don't put anything on her. It'll you can like take her into a room, her but like putting her in a box, covering her up, anything that looks like a traditional burial. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. All right. Um. So yeah. Um. So yes, yeah, Samson's like uh, excitedly on the deck. Waving little Samson around. Yeah, I I just say, I'm going up there and I'm going to grab Samson and take him inside. You two can deal with this situation. Cool. So yeah, you Spoiled. all stow away, um, like uh, you get everything stowed, um, and head back to town. Yeah, I've got some reputation yeah. ruining to do. Straight away. <laughs> and an important thing to tell Nelson. Now, actually, no, that's the question. Because we need to discuss that. So, we found a huge cache of treasure. We found the treasure. As you're heading back to town, you hear a bell ringing. Okay. But first, okay. important conversation. We found this big old treasure. We could just claim it and, like, be rich forever and ever and ever. Yes. Agreed. Yeah. Alternatively, we could give it to Nelson, in which case Nelson would leave and go take care of his sister and not be in charge of the school anymore. Are you crazy? There's only two good uses for that money. One, to make us fabulously rich, and two, to bribe whoever is stopping the boat from taking off. Uh, if it's the still a priority. stopping the boat from taking off is... Christopher Potts, like we know that. Oh, right. His son, specifically. Uh, right. That's so, right. That's part of the whole rule of his life thing. We've got that covered. Right, we've got that covered. Never mind. So there's only one good use, actually, yeah, for the pals. You're, you're Do you really care about that after we've got them? I, like, look at Charles. I'm, I'm looking at Charles and sort of, like, you know, being like, how much do you care about money? Like, this is literally, you could be fabulously rich, or you could, like, make sure that these children have, like, the religious upbringing that you want. Like, it's it's literally, like, it's, one or the other. It is literally the classic two halves of my psyche warring <laughs> against mm-hmm. each other. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think I say to you, I'm like, Charles, you know best about this. It's your, I mean, it's your share. You can take your share. I have a child to provide for. You can do whatever you want with your part. I mean, Ash, based on the number of pearls I saw... We don't need to make now, so... Based based on the number of pearls I saw, Ash, if we split this, would our share be enough Sure. One share would do it, two shares would do it, like, uh, comfortably. Okay, well then I say to to the two of them that, um, yes, let's split it. Um, Charles, if you want uh, Nelson to leave, you want a different future for the school, I will back you. So I'm basically saying, like, if you decide that, I'll give you my share. If you want to just be fabulously rich, then we'll all just keep them and be fabulously rich. I mean, there are lots of schools. There are. And we don't necessarily have to save them all. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. (laughs) I think we should ruminate on it. I think it's something that is a decision. The first thing we need to do is we need to solve the, the pots problem. All right. Yeah. So, Meanwhile, yeah. I'm already. I'm, I'm not thrilled about hanging out with Ariadne here, and I'm sure she'd like a bit of closure too. 
that should be our first our first objective. Mm. I'm already thinking like Samson could go to a school. One of the ones where you wear the nice things. Uniform. Or even in university. All yes. of those things. All of those things are going to happen. Now, this is in my head. I'm not saying yeah. it out loud. I'm just <laughs> completely distracted. Yeah. By like the possibilities for my son that yeah. were com absolutely non-existent mm. two hours ago. I mean, so, the possibilities for our business, our see. enterprise as as sailors and merchants, oh, is also high. As you come into town, there is a bell ringing. And as you walk up the main street to the square where that where we first saw that discussion, um, the, the the bell is being rung, and the uh, and the mayor is standing there, and on one side he has Christopher Potts, and on the other are Nelson and Winston, and he calls out, uh, "Here, here, I have uh, um, here stands accused Nelson Hyde and Winston McNally." Who are uh, who are hereby accused by Christopher Potts of conspiring against the mayor and against the town? They have been seen after hours coming and going from buildings in the street, and they have been linked to several crimes amongst the village. That's so good. I love that it's like they're up to something when in actual fact they're they're just banging. That's real, that's real cute. Okay. So yeah, um, and then like Christopher starts like saying, like starts like, uh, will the, will the accuser, so like yeah, the, the mayor's like, uh, accuser, present your evidence. And then Christopher's like, on this night, I saw them going here. On that night, uh, and on that same day, this thing happened, right? Like, you know, all of these I things. I just... offer Ariadne my sh my elbow. Nice. Ariadne's Ari Ariadne is in the is in is on the ship. Yeah. Oh, she's not with us. No. Oh, okay. She's gone back to. Hasn't she's, she gone yeah, back she's to rolling through town. Animate, she's like, in anime. I was totally gonna. I was totally gonna walk her through the town. No, dang. dang. Um, I think I, like, I I I say to you though, Charles. I'm like, okay, I, I'm gonna need your help here because I'm. I don't know all of the fancy words you know. If I want to make a fuss during a trial, is there something I should say? How do I say that I need to say something? Sorry, if you don't want what? If, if I want, I'm basically being like, like, is there, like, do you know if there's a formal way to object to what's going on and like, like, make a fuss? Stop the proceedings? Yeah, stop the proceedings, exactly. Like, raise an objection. Is there like a formal way to do that? Because I'm just an old sailor and I don't know how this is supposed to work. Charles, I think well, I think I think you just yell objection. Yeah, I, I think what we need to do is we need to yell above Charles and say that this isn't a court of law and we need a formal proceedings and there needs I, to be some kind. Of, technically, this um, counts as a court of law for this for this situation because the mayor is here. There is there. Oh, great. Well, okay, so I so I think I just like take like the first part of your thing about like shouting above, like yeah. Christopher or whatever, and I just start doing that. So I like call out. I'm like, I object. This man, and I like point accusingly at Christopher. And like the whole the whole crowd goes silent and like parts and turns to to like face you. And I'm like. I'm like staring at him intently and I have like the hint of a smile because this is very satisfying and I'm like this man is unfit to accuse anyone of crimes and then like I'm just gonna like walk toward him and begin listing his crimes I'm just gonna like list all of his crimes while making intense eye contact So what I actually I have a move for this yeah do it <laughs> I'm following up I'm cool. walking behind it. Yeah. Behind sweet. you. Sweet. <laughs> um, so the move is uh, you may spend the secrets you've learned of another one to one to bolster or deride their reputation in public. 
I am going to deride his reputation in public. Yep, you do that. You don't need to roll for that, do you? Nope. Cool. I, just I would like Charles to roll his move. Ooh. Yep. Which one? Which one? So I would, I would use the spiritual fire. Yes, you would. <gasps> Heck yeah! When you spread your faith to inspire many others. No, I only got a six. Okay, but I'm but I'm helping you. You're right? helping. Okay. Yeah, so I get a seven. Hang on. But let's see, see what let's Emily see. rolls. Um, yes. Yes. You get, get a seven, seven to nine. Woo! Is this, is this, is this, sorry, is this inspiring many others or is it like rebuking his reputation? This is, so, um, on a seven to nine, I get, um, I, I fill the crowd with fervor and they're, they're spurred to act. So I can choose two from they act immediately, they don't misinterpret my message, they don't use violence to follow your message, or they don't demand boons or miracles from you later. So I don't feel like we care about the violence bit. I just wanna I just wanna check, because I, I think I was thinking of a different move that you were doing. Give me a second. Uh I have righteous victory as well. That's the one I was thinking you were doing. Oh, okay. Oh. Well you get on a seven to nine for that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it says they must choose, heed your words, or be the subject of a crowd's contempt. Yeah. I think that's Although, what happened. Nah, no, but see all of those are very temporary. Yeah, true. Good point. So yeah, no, you you you, you inspire the crowd, and they uh, and like and and like, um. So what happens is like Tristan like uh, Tristan calls out like crime the first, and then like uh, sorry um Charles calls out like crime the first, and then Tristan like lists a crime, and then crime the second, and like yeah. between the two of you, you're doing this like call and response of every crime that like <laughs> of the most important crimes that that, that Charles has done. And Charles. like the one thing that I want to sorry, that Christopher has done, um, and then yeah, yeah. Uh, as you approach the the thing, um, the mayor looks like flabbergasted, and is like, uh, is like, whoa, oh, well, this is this is quite, this is quite un, uh, unprecedented. Um, Emily, you have plus uh, um, team, you have plus two forward to uh, to manipulate the mayor if you want to. Okay, but um, first of all though. Mayor. Um, <clears throat> Derek didn't actually get to choose which... Oh, sorry, Derek, did you want to choose these things? For seven to nine? Which two things you want. For so, thing? choose two. Um, I don't want them to misinterpret our message. Yeah. So the message being is that... that Christopher has... Um, flaunted the law, lied to cover up his tracks, and harmed others, including his wife. Yeah. Whom he murdered. Cool. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And the second thing I want them to do is I want them to act immediately. Cool. Do you want to manipulate the mayor? Yeah, let's do it. I think you. Right. Should, I think you have the best chance of this, Charles. Eight. Plus two. Plus two. Plus two is a critical system. Yeah, you set it up so you get plus two forward. Yes. That's that's a ten. Yes. The mayor is like, these crimes are uh, are numerous, and explain your understanding of the crimes you've listed. Um, clearly, uh, uh, yeah, clearly, Christopher Potts, you have been uh, you have been uh, uh, you have been the the scourge of this town for decades. Um, and yeah, he's like, I commit to you, to the, uh, I commit you to the bonds of prison, yeah. where you may serve out your days. Good day, sir! And like, yeah, yeah uh, the crowd, like, the crowd, like, cheers, and I think they swamp him and, like, carry him off. Yes! Yeah. This is the best day. No violence, though. No violence. Yeah, yeah, hey, you didn't take that off. I didn't choose I know. that. Yeah, he gets a bit roughed up. <laughs> we can just like fruitlessly being like, please. Well. Fantastic. All right. That's good. Oh. 
So I think then we close on the last like bit of dusk, as like the uh, as like the oranges and the ochres turn uh, turn to greys and then to blues. As the rare occasion sets sail past the lighthouse and out of Catherine by the Sea. Gonna take a dead lady to India. Yep. Oh, we don't do, we don't, we don't do that. But. Yeah. I think that's, that's where we end. That's a very good ending. Cool. Yay! We did mm -hmm. it! We did all the things! <laughs> We, we found moderately, the moderately super rich. Moderately super rich. Yeah. Oh, give me a year. I'll turn. I'll double that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> but don't sell any encyclopedias. You know, it'll be spreading no. that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that was super rad. Um, wow. I'm really Thank happy you. with that whole thing. Um, it's pretty late, so we should probably wrap up. Um, we'll get y'all to do some shout outs. Emily, do you want to start? Sure. Um, huh. I, just huh. I just realized that I was actually technically muted that, that whole time, so everyone was, so everyone was just hearing me through your oh mic. Oh, okay. Sorry. Um, um, uh, uh, yes, hi, I'm Emily. I'm Emily. Sometimes, Sometimes I am badly muted. Badly muted. Uh, <laughs> I am a filmmaker and, and an artist. Uh, uh, sometimes I make art for games. Um, you can follow me on Twitter at Blackwall Says. Um, this was a really, really fun time. This was a particularly fun uh, episode, and I had I took great delight in wreaking full and and thorough re revenge on the horrible Christopher Potts. Oh, you level up. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, isn't there a thing about that? Yeah. I think you all level up. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Cool. cool. Well, that was, well, that was great. great. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> uh, who's next in my list? It is Derek. All right. My name is Derek. I'm part of the Dice Stormers. We're a YouTube group and we uh, uh, broadcast on all the YouTube channels and the Twitch and the Facebook and you can find us on all the socials. Um, I had an, an absolute ball and uh, it was twists and turns and I loved I love the fact that we didn't know where we were going to be at any at any one point. Um, I still think we should have killed the horse. <laughs> That's... Thank you very much, Ash. That was awesome. Cool, Haley. Hey, yeah, I'm Haley. Um, one of the two story brewers. Um, we wrote this game, yay! And it is such a pleasure to um, play a game that actually play a game that you've written rather than GMing, especially when the GM is awesome. So thank you so much, Ash. Um, and quick plug, we have a new game uh, set only 20 years earlier, but the genre could not be more different. Uh, we have a, a Jane Austen RPG called Good Society coming out on Kickstarter on uh, February 4th. So if you like Jane Austen as well as liking spooky sea things, um, come check it out. <laughs> Awesome. It's, it sounds good. I'm, I'm keen. I want to I check out. Um, I've been your GM, Ash. Um, you can follow me um, at CGIAC, A C E G I A K, uh, on Twitter, Twitch, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, and my blog, CGIAC.net. Um, we will be back here again on Wednesday for a space date. Emily and I are gonna go go space space dating. Um, we have a special added uh, feature. Yes, special added feature. Emily's probably going to be building IKEA while we go to space. We'll see. <laughs> we have a very important chair to build. Yeah, um, and then on Saturday I'll be PC streaming. Um, so I'll, we'll be back here playing some Hand of Fate, I reckon, or maybe Armello. We're not sure. And then on Sunday, I think is, I think this Sunday coming is Go By Moonlight. We're going to be playing Toward Heaven. So I'm keen for that. Otherwise, thanks for hanging around. Hit the follow button if you haven't. Um, and we will see you later. Bye. Bye.